Powder Springs residents say they fear the small town charm of their city will be lost if apartments are built near the historic downtown. Yeah, they say they showed up at an open forum planning meeting, but that their concerns were not heard. Fox 5's George Franco joins us in Powder Springs with a story tonight. And George, what is the city saying about this? Well, Russ and Sine, a lot of angry Powder Springs residents were wearing these I Love Mayberry buttons at this important planning meeting for the city. But the city says they came to the wrong meeting. And we are not here for you to give us this and then just shut us down. They came wearing I Love Mayberry buttons with concerns of a high-density 200-unit apartment complex and parking lot changing the small-town feel of the historic downtown Powder Springs area. This is a meeting for the comprehensive plan. Look at all these people. They were told the structure of the comprehensive plan review meeting did not allow for public comment on their concerns over the apartments. We want to make sure that growth happens periodically, not all at one time. And you didn't get to see Say that. Absolutely, I did not. Makes you feel uh, left out. Again, it's just a conceptual plan. The city's economic development team told me Powder Springs is in the midst of conducting its 10 year comprehensive plan, informing residents of changing population, demographics, housing, and more, which could include the new apartments to improve the downtown area. You've got to have those feet on the ground to walk your downtown. Um, we and that would be that 200 unit complex. As, that's a possibility, but there's other diversity housing that we're looking at as well. The open forum scheduled for 735 involved table discussions with people writing their wishes on maps and placing dots on charts, not asking questions or speaking publicly about their concerns. Even a few minutes of the whole agenda to give some feedback, you know, publicly where everyone could hear, but they shut us down. Residents were shown apartment complexes in other Cobb County cities the size of Powder Springs, part of the already in place planning process, not usually interrupted like this night. They have their agenda and they want their small voice to be the big voice that controls the entire meeting. That is what I, I mean when I say hijacked. And that man who felt his voice had been hijacked tonight, along with the others who say they do have a voice, will all be able to be heard March 14th. That's the downtown development meeting, which this issue will come up. Reporting live tonight in Powder Springs, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. All right, George, thank you.